What's up everyone, Katie here from NBA Tennis. Hope you guys are doing awesome today. Back at home, back in the home studio you could say. Happy to be back, first video at home. And today, we're gonna to be talking about a racket. And that is the Head Gravity MP. So before we jump into the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Click the notification button. You guys know, do all that good stuff. And if you guys are interested and really wanna help the channel, you can click the super thanks button, but no pressure at all. So let's jump into it. The Head Gravity. This is honestly probably the nicest racket I've ever looked at in my life as far as cosmetics go. This is a beauty of a racket, let me tell you that. Um, if I was like a uh, top 10 pro and I was getting pro stocks made, I'd want this paint job on all my rackets, let's just say that. But honestly, was really looking forward to this play test. Um, I'm going on, I'm on a racket journey right now. I need to kind of make a switch here and I'm testing a couple of rackets in the headline that you know might meet my needs and wants. And this was one of them that I wanted to try and I'm glad I did because uh, just kind of helped me figure some things out actually about what I, what I want out of a racket and stuff. So for starters, this racket comes in at like uh, 295, the MP version. Note that a while ago, I tested the Gravity Pro, the old version. So if you wanna check that out, uh, definitely do. Uh, but this is the MP, so it comes in pretty, pretty light, 295 stock form. So I knew that I was gonna need to add some weight uh, because the racket that I play right now, the Head Extreme Tour 360 version, comes in at 338 with all my lead and string and all the stuff added to that. So I knew I was gonna have to bring it up. So what I did was I was, uh, I put pretty, a, a pretty good chunk of weight, I don't know if you guys can see, at three and nine, um, and also countered it in the grip. So I was able to bring it up to, uh, with string and the weight to my spec 338. And I was able to get on a court uh, and test it. So the string that's in here is my string, Solingo Confidential, got the Wilson overgrip, all that stuff is what I like. So got on core with it. What did I think of it? Um, at first, I actually did test it with a hybrid string, just kind of rallying down the middle with my dad. And I really liked it. I was like, dang, like this is gonna feel good. It's in my wheelhouse. I think I'm gonna like this. And it made me think of another racket I've play tested and really, really liked, but couldn't switch to because of elbow pain. And that is the Wilson Shift. That racket also has a 16 by 20 string pattern, which was interesting. So anyway, got on court, put my string in it. If we go and start from the back, on forehands, when you connect well with this racket, especially if you're a more advanced player and add some weight to it, you can label it, it's really good. You can put some good spin on it. I could kind of do whatever I wanted. Um, it really penetrates the court actually when you really rip it. That's something that I'm kind of looking for in a little bit of a racket right now. I find with my Extreme Tour, I have a beautiful rally ball, but sometimes when I want to really penetrate the court, uh, I have a little bit of, a, little bit of um, a harder time. I can do it, but I feel like there's other rackets out there that would be able to maybe help me. So that's why I'm kind of on a little bit of a journey right now that could maybe help. So there's that. Um, I really did enjoy it on my forehand. I didn't really feel like the racket was, you know, too heavy or too light or uh, unstable or anything like that. It was pretty solid on my forehand. I would probably give it an A plus, just as good as my Extreme Tour, maybe a little bit better. On the back inside, though, is when I kind of started to notice a couple issues, and I was ticked off because this is a 100 square inch racket, and I felt like I really had to hit the sweet spot though, which is strange because the the way this head shape is, is it's like, it kind of reminds me of a Yonix frame because I feel like it's like wider this way. Um, so I, I don't know what they're, what this, this head shape is very unique, but I felt like I wasn't connecting in the middle of the strings or it didn't feel like I was as well as like other rackets or my personal racket. 
So I felt like the ball was flying sometimes and I didn't have the control over it that I wanted to, especially when I was hitting you know, some flatter shots or some backhands where I had to prep early uh, or really early and kind of take it on the rise or some pickup backhands. Guys, in order for me to switch to a racket, it all needs to be needs to be good, so I'm getting pretty nitpicky here. Overall, on the back end, it was good, but I just feel like it wasn't good enough to, to make me switch. Um, but I mean, overall, I'd give it honestly a, a B plus, B plus, A minus, probably a B plus though, um, just because I felt like it had, it felt good on some shots, and then on some shots, it really didn't feel good at all, and I didn't have that feeling of uh, connected to the racket. So that's backhand. If we're talking about the slice, um, that's another area where I really struggled with this racket. I felt like I was getting some nice spin and it was going over the net with some nice, uh, like not high over the net, like perfect, um, what do you call it? Um, perfect, like it was in the perfect window, like we say window one uh, for slice and stuff and it was going right where I wanted to but it was landing short so I felt like I had to like really work to get my slice deep which is not normally an issue with me with my extreme tour or other rackets I've demoed um, and I felt like it was kind of just awkward once again I don't know if it's that 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 head shape that this racket has um, that was causing me that it, those issues but just a little bit of a struggle there I really didn't like the slice on this racket actually probably would give it um, a a B minus, a C plus. So that's an area that I really uh, struggled with. But that's the backhand, uh, you know, kind of wrapping up over there. Approaching to the net, pretty solid. Volleys are a beauty with this racket. If you guys watched my um, Gravity Pro review in the fall, last fall, I loved it on volleys. This racket's kind of a beast at, vo at volleys. Uh, I feel like I can't miss. Uh, and I think that is a good thing about this head size. It's pretty pretty stable up at the net. It's, it's a bigger head size. Um, had some nice touch with it as well. So really no issues at all. Probably give it an A, A plus. Overheads, uh, totally fine, no issues. Like I say in all my racket reviews, I think if you know how to hit an overhead, I don't think you can really mess up. Um, but yeah, A plus on the overhead, we'll say. Now, I want to talk about something before I get into serve and return. When it comes to the maneuverability of this racket, it's unique. It's a little bit different, um, especially where this comes in at a lighter stock weight. I feel like it could still cause problems for people um, on the maneuverability side because of the way this head shape is. I'm talking a lot about the head shape, but I think you kind of need to because it's just an awkward feeling sometimes when it swings through the air. It's not a traditional um, shape. So I felt like at times, and maybe that's why I did have some problems on my back end picking up uh, little half volleys or pickups from the baseline because it was tough to maneuver from the forehand to the back end. But that's just something I wanted to mention as well. So that's, didn't really love the maneuverability of this racket and that's a big con that I had with the Gravity Pro in the fall, probably even more than this one because it was the Pro model. And when I even made contact with the ball, it's an 1820 string pattern, didn't feel like I was getting much on the ball, etc. But that's the Gravity Pro. Go watch that video if you would like to. But going back, you know, hitting some serves and returns. Serve was average, it was just okay. Once again, I kind of felt the maneuverability uh, coming into play in a bad way when it was coming overhead. Um, I felt like I wasn't able to be as crafty on the serve, you know, hit a slower kick serve but with a lot of spin or go really slice wide. Um, I didn't really feel like I had that, this racket didn't really have that in its, I don't know what the word is, in its tool, tool bag, toolbox. Like I felt like this racket was not able to do what I'm able to do with some rackets on the serve, being creative with spin, power, angle, etc. Not to say that it was bad, it was solid on the flat serve. I could crank out some big ones there, but I still think it was not as strong as I was hoping it to be. So serve, I would, I would give it a B plus. Returns were also pretty average. When you connect with it, it felt pretty good. 
similar to the Gravity Pro. I really liked it on returns. Um, I think if you time it well, especially with this head shape, this I feel like this head shape and size and the way it is, it has some pros and cons. It's really good for some things, but not good at all for some things. Uh, so when I made contact, uh, hitting, you know, blocking topspin return, it was solid, but didn't really love it on, uh, you know, some chip returns and stuff didn't feel great there. Uh, the overall feeling of the racket was, you know, pretty average. It has that head feel, which I like, but in some departments, I didn't really love it, you know, on the backhand and stuff and slicing. So, but to back it up, to get to returns, I would also give returns probably a B plus. So I guess that's gonna kind of wrap it up. Really solid frame. I think if you are somebody that, you know, played with the Speed Pro, that maybe wants to try gravity, you're an advanced player, you wanna customize a racket. This is a racket that you, it's a pretty good platform racket that you can customize. Maybe you're somebody that uses a Yonix racket as well. Uh, if you're somebody that uses the Yonix racket, I don't think this head shape would bother you as much because you know Yonix frames have the isometric head. Also, if you're coming from a pure arrow, pure drive, somebody that's in that 100 square inch uh, kind of bracket, I don't think this will bother you as much. When you're somebody that's coming from a smaller head size up, you will notice it. So you know, 95, 97, 98 square inch rackets, you're gonna notice it a bit, and that's why I think I did as well. But yeah, on a little bit of a racket journey here, Enjoyed this play test, but not what I, I was so hyped up actually because this paint job like I would this is a racket when if I was a kid I'd switch to this racket because of the paint job just because I like it so much but uh, At the stage of my career. I can't do that. So that's the head gravity MP. I hope you enjoyed this video Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am kind of going back to another play test I don't know if I'll do a review of this racket again this is the speed MP uh, but testing some things out there uh, like I said on a racket journey trying to figure some things out to get ready for this summer and when I go back to school because I want to perform at my best so trying to figure some things out thank you for stopping by leave a comment on what you think of this video let me know if you're using the gravity don't forget to play some tennis guys have a great day we'll catch you guys in the next one